Well, sunny skies are on the way, but here's the question. Will this dry weather hold all the way through the weekend? Yes, it's going to hold through the weekend. Now, tomorrow we get some sunshine, but then again on Saturday and Sunday, we'll get some of those occasional high clouds like we saw today. You know, it was a nice day. You know, those clouds were just kind of filtering the sun, but now that the front is moving on through, those clouds are clearing out, and it is just going to be a gorgeous evening. Now, I'll tell you this, with the clear skies that we've got, and in the wake of this week, cold front temperatures tonight are going to be even chillier than it has been over the last couple of nights. So here's your weather headlines uh, tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine. It is going to be a dry weekend, but I want to emphasize, even though it's dry, we will see some occasional clouds and I'll show you why here in just a second. The high today has been 62 degrees. Hey, what do you know? We finally hit the average high for this time of the year, but there's that record of 82 degrees for this date set back in 1915. Massive storm system moving through the central plains away from the Rockies. That little faint line of clouds, that's the cold front that moved through bright and early through this morning and throughout much of the day. Now, this is high pressure and this is what's going to be giving us the sunny skies tomorrow. But then you see this feature out here, occasional weekend clouds courtesy of disturbance out here in the Pacific Ocean. However, there's no organization to this. So as we get a westerly flow through the weekend, all it's going to do is pick up some of these occasional high thin clouds and drive them across the Treasure Valley. So here's the way everything's going to be playing out. Looking at the computer models through the day tomorrow, there you can see the clear skies and the sunshine. So that's tomorrow late in the day. Again, still clear, but watch this batch of clouds courtesy of that disturbance out there in the Pacific Ocean. And as it moves from the west toward the east, caught up in a westerly flow, these are the occasional clouds that we'll be seeing on Saturday and on Sunday as well. But it, it will be, it's, it is going to definitely be on the dry side through the weekend. I do not see any showers moving in on Saturday or Sunday. So seven day forecast and for the Treasure Valley. 64 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day. On Saturday, let's just go with a few clouds around. That's going to be on Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures ranging from the mid to the upper 60s. Then on Monday, a weak disturbance will slide on through and with it, a slight chance of showers in the forecast. I wish I could tell you it was going to be more than that, but the storm does not look very impressive. And then just a mix of sunshine and clouds expected Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. So other than that Monday storm, we're going to just going to be kind of hanging out waiting for Mother Nature to generate something else. But there's a seven day forecast for the mountains. Clear skies tomorrow. A few clouds around on Saturday and Sunday. A chance of some showers on Monday. And then it doesn't look too bad through the middle of next week. So you're unimpressed, huh? Unimpressed. Oh, okay. Yep. It takes a lot to impress you. <laughs> it does. I like to see some dynamics come together, you know? Yeah, I understand. Yeah.